Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser against Mexico. Let us continue on for the last death off. So we're invading the Canadians just because we could. And that's really about all of my justification. We've already gotten the Canadians down to... A 79% capitulation. We'll get there... We'll get a lot closer once we actually take over, um... Vancouver. And after this, we probably are going to take over Costa Rica. And I believe at that point, it's really... Probably just going to be the end of the campaign. I really don't see it lasting too much longer past that. I'm going to be completely honest. We're also training up uh, a shit ton of American divisions. Uh, we only want one of these. Thank you very much. So tr build less fighters. I know we need at least a handful of close air support. So just start producing some of those bad boys. Produce slightly less tanks, and that seems good for now. Russia. You're also a na uh, national populist, so please support me. Played less with Japan. And we're already, like, almost our in our way to Ottawa. And get our way up to Quebec. Like, we essentially already have every single major city. Aside from Vancouver... So I'm hoping once the Entente kind of breaks away, we're not really going to be at war with too many people. And Germany's still losing. So I think we should more or less be completely fine. Also, how are we raiding enemy convoy so well, considering the fact we have like five ships in our entire navy? I think they're just kind of bad. That's my guess. Anyways... Just build more stuff. Like, we, we're more or less, I think, just fine. The work camps are going to be finished. And we will establish Mexican independence. Like, we've already gotten down to 47%. New England's capitulated. Uh, essentially... Please get out of here. Essentially, immediately. Uh, so... Uh, stretch this line out like this. You more or less should all be dead after this as well. Where is Vancouver? It's right here. So they're doing pretty, pretty well. Apparently now own uh, the Northwest Territories. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And like, once Quebec's fallen, like, what else do they even have? I mean, they have Halifax and Fredericton, but who cares about those places? I mean, we'll take them over because we kind of have to, but... We already got them down to 35%. We also now own Northern Quebec. Vancouver has fallen. Honestly, this, this war's been going on for, what, four minutes? It's been four minutes since the start of the episode, and they're already about to die. Do they have any other major cities? I think it's just Halifax. Actually embarrassing. You Canada, you should just be embarrassed by this. By the way, do they have any other... Major powers. The French Republic is considered a major power. But you guys will die in but mere moments. At 24%. Get better infantry equipment. And honestly, like they're they're dead. How many men have I lost so far in this war? 41,000. Probably a little bit too many to be honest, but 
more than we really should have lost. And we could deploy these 71 American divisions that I've just been training up. And somehow the king has not fled Canada yet. Maybe they've removed that with the update in, um... Where the Entente doesn't just, like, fall apart. Perhaps, but... It seems strange that they would have done that. Okay, so they're at 20% now. Probably don't need to get away to, uh, to uh, St. John's. I mean, do we take... We have taken Thunder Bay. What other cities even have points on here? The answer is none. Well, actually, Victoria we haven't taken, to be fair. So go, just go walk there and take it from them. Rush declared war on Latvia. Is Latvia... No, yeah, they declared independence from Germany. Yeah, so Canada has capitulated. So did they, are they not, um... They must have removed the, uh... The King Flees Canada decision. Because normally at this point, the King would have fled because he has no country left. Does that mean we gotta go fight the... French? I guess so. But I have no idea how the hell we're going to get over there. Um... How, oh how... Do we get to good old-fashioned North Africa? I mean, theoretically, I guess we could do, like, a naval invasion. And in fact, they're going to do a naval invasion of Texas, but... I'm not too concerned with that. Surprisingly. Do we just do a naval invasion, I guess, then? Like, just get military access from the commune and then navally invade down south, but there's no way we have military, uh... No, we do have friendly ships there. Okay, military access through you. It's a very weird situation we find ourselves in, but... Draw a fallback line here. We'll send over Blue Army. No, don't send over Blue Army. That's, that's ridiculous. Blue Army stays here. Yellow Army is going to stay here. Deploy our new, new American divisions. You are going to be the guys we're going to be sending over to Europe. Because I don't want to lose my own men for this. So make your way across. After that, I guess we're going to start like 15 naval invasions down into uh, Algeria. Yeah, because normally the king flees Canada, but he's decided not to. Unless we killed off the Canadians so fast. That the event just didn't have time to fire? Is that possible, even? I don't know. That's probably possible. Uh, so build some new fighters. We'll modify our government by doing, I don't know, something else. You know, now let's focus on the Air Force. Now that we've won in Canada and the United States, Let's get our Air Force ready to go. By the way, how long is it going to take for you guys to even, um... Reach France? 20, about a month? Why are you guys even taking two pathways? If you've started in the same location, shouldn't you all be taking the same path? That's what makes sense to me, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Their troops are still marching out south. I'm sure the AI is probably putting a lot of troops in this region. They've also landed in New Orleans. But I'm sure AI, uh, American ally is going to help them out there.
you could have won the Indian Empire. Does that matter? I don't think so. We're gonna get you in charge here. Sign you to be heal. And you're gonna do a naval invasion for Mersai um, into this port. Again, it looks like we have some complete naval superiority here. I'm assuming that's probably by the Internationale. We're not at war with the Austrians, we're not at war with Germans, so if they take the top provinces that we're actually standing in, it doesn't actually matter. Where are you guys going then? You're still gonna go up here? We can only send 10 divisions across, right? I believe so. We only had the first level of naval invasion actually done researching. What I'm hoping for is... I don't know what I'm hoping for, actually. I'm hoping that we win. I know that's not a major surprise. Oh, you guys have also landed down here. Well, isn't that just a bit of an annoyance? We could definitely kill them out of New Orleans. Do we do naval invasions under like their little um guys down here? I mean we could. Like Venezuela is not too powerful, I imagine. Uh apparently we have more factories, just put them here. down to the south. Uh, no, you want another general. Um, so you want to here, except you also need a new field marshal. But I don't think we actually need to worry about the field marshal. Yeah, so you're going to fall back line here. There we go. That all worked out in the end. How long is it going to take for the Invasion Act to be ready to go? 70 days? I'm hoping that just a flood of so many men will just be enough to win. Definitely want to give you the infantry expert perk. Well, the French are trying to land. Okay. I mean, looking at their stats right now, they seem pretty bad. We could probably go with, like, five divisions, maybe. Okay, so ten more days we can do a naval invasion. And it should work out pretty nicely for us. The AI still sending way too many men to try and invade the United States. I mean, I'm not going to say they can't, because it, it's clearly working in our favor. And again, we don't really care what happens to the Internationale itself. We do want the Germans to, at some point... Fight them. How many troops does Russia have? A decent amount. Two more days we can do a naval invasion. I'm hoping it works out. I can actually research the next level of naval invasion tech. I can, so that might be useful. If we need to attack with all 40 divisions. Which we might have to do, to be fair. Yeah, they try to strategically redeploy troops up here. 
But it looks like we should bust our way through, hopefully. Just land. All you gotta do is land. Ship all of our troops over. How much supplies are we getting into here? Four out of 32. Okay. And we do have a bonus in fighting in the desert. So... We should be looking pretty good. Now that that invasion has been successful, what we can do now is do another naval invasion from Marseille to just Algeria itself. Reinforcements have begun to arrive. Which is lovely. What do I want to do now? Yeah, let's suppress some subjects. In fact, I probably don't even need this many guys attacking. Just half again. 35 days, we can do invasion of Algiers. Especially since now we have a, an actual like front line. The AI is going to send more troops in this general direction. Actually, how's some supplies looking over here as well? Looks like we have superiority over here as well. You guys are going to do invasion of Eastern Canada, huh? I don't know if you know this, but we have like a whole army here. So yeah, you just go crush them, please. And thank you, you guys attack. And I think you can be just very aggressive about it. Okay, so let's say night vision goggles, even better anti-tank weapons. There's a chance this might be the end of the series if we can kill them off fast enough. You are going to die. Like, where's their army? Is it just, like, not here? It must not be. Okay, you guys march up the coastline. Take as much land as you possibly can. Build more planes. Planes are cool. Build more tanks. Build more of literally everything. We're probably going to need to get our way all the way down to here, unfortunately. Move all regions. Um, who's this? Australia? I would like docking rights, please. Thank you. Please dock over in their port. I mean, it's going pretty well, I would say. Oh, the, all, all of France's army is here. They're spending literally all of their energy to come invade the United States. That's what they're spending all of their precious energy doing. Which is insanity to me. You, you spent... How many men did you send over here? Well, your actual country is being invaded, my dudes. Like, are you okay? Let's do a naval invasion now, please, and thank you. And once our plane, our guys are here, um, three people from Bordeaux are just going to sail down to Dakar, because I know that's usually, like, the last major city you got to take for the French Republic. For them to realize that they've been killed. Delete this plan. Just so they don't accidentally come up here. Okay, so they've reinforced Algiers a little bit more. Well, that's good. They've at least done one thing properly. What is wrong? Why... Why have you spent this much energy invading the United States that you could have spent 
evading the international. I don't know. A little bit strange to me. I don't know if I understand it properly. Don't land in. Don't, don't go here. Go back home. By that, I mean go back to the port where you actually have to invade from. Please and thank you. And then invade Oran, because it's probably, I would imagine, slightly less defended than um, everywhere else is going to be. My planes are now, or my boats are now here. Naval invasion support these two regions, so you should be ready to go as soon as um, war's begun. Yeah, this is this is going fine. Absolutely a okay. Like I don't even care what happens to the United States. If the United States dies, and that's it is what it is. They do have a port in Washington D.C. Uh, so yellow, you guys can now deploy around New Orleans. They do keep thinking that attacking there is a good idea, even though it's definitely not. Oh, they've taken Marseille! That's a good reason why you can't do that. Okay, well... We'll take back the city then. Because we do, we do need it. This isn't helping out the international, this is just helping me out. It just so happens that helping out the international is in line with my goals at the moment. What's your problem? You don't have enough information about Cape de Verde. I don't think we can get any closer, right? Like, we can't give you any access. No, unfortunately not. Wait, no, Chile's closer. Chile. Uh, I want docking rights, please, and thank you. And then I'll allow my boats that are... Yeah, dock here, please. That seems like a much nicer place for you to be. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to go to Algiers at the moment. Will we be able to take it over? Maybe if we surround the city itself, we can get that done. Still don't have enough information about this region. Oh, but you guys are invading anyways. Beautiful. That works out for me anyways. And I'm kind of fine if the AI is sending troops to the United States to come try to occupy us. We can surround Algiers. You guys got another invasion of Iran going through. I mean, we just need the car because it's worth 10 victory points and... It usually proves to be important. You guys go here. They don't usually capitulate without it being taken. As unfortunate as that is. The French are putting up a much harder fight than essentially everybody else. I'm hoping there's nobody in the car. I mean, there probably is. But we shall see. I mean, the, the commune, they're, the ties are turning against them, uh, for sure. You're not just, you're mainly just fighting against Melarus. You even have to do that? Don't you have a decision in your focus tree to kill him? Like, I would have imagined they just have a Costa's Belly to do it, but... Perhaps not. Anyways, um... One of you guys now. Say orange. Delete all your old plans and just make your way to the front lines here as well. Okay, so there are troops in the car. Why 
What if I just force attack my way in? Because again, we just need to hold the city. I mean, taking over these other two ports would be nice as well. How much is this point? This worth one point. Algeria is worth 30. Oran is worth 15. I think we just need to put more troops on the naval invasion next time. invasion. Like, what percentage are they at right now? They're at 57% without having lost the car. I mean, you're getting closer. For sure they are. Um, who are you? I don't know who you are, but sure, we can have an autograph impact. I know you're like some guy in India, but... That's about the extent of my knowledge. Algeria looks like they will fall. Is that enough for them to capitulate? The answer, of course, is no, but... Gotta make our way to the car. We didn't get one of them to fall back. But it's not enough for a win. So, you know, a whole position... Put as many troops on this front as you possibly can. And probably just go for another attack right afterwards. Because we are very, very close. Um... With like six more divisions, I think we can definitely break through. And you guys gotta still march your way down. Like, this is definitely gonna be a longer episode, but. You guys will just invade whenever you think you have the opportunity to do so. I mean, I can't imagine Iran being enough to push them over the edge. They need to, they need to lose 11%. What about Freetown? Freetown's worth 1, 1. Yeah, just the cars were 10. Your job is basically march your way to the car. How long will that take to even walk? It's going to take about a month to walk it. And that's assuming they don't run into any resistance. Okay, so now you should be close enough. Invasion should go ahead with seven divisions instead of three. Ron still has not fallen, though. It really feels like at this point they probably should have, but nah, it's still just not. Oh, there we go. The war is over. So, um, well, all of Canada is mine. All of the French Republic is mine. New England, oh, we'll enter for this one. The United States, uh, you guys are going to be able to get New England, of course. Australia, you were the guys who took over Portugal, so you guys can definitely have that. You guys can take Sardinia, I think that makes perfect sense. The Union of South Africa. I mean, it's closer to Australia than anybody else, so give it to Australia as well. I will take over the West Indies Federation just because it's closer to me, and then um, our good friend, the Indian Empire. 
You can have them. These two countries are the exact same color. Uh, beautiful. Venezuela is now just kind of doing its own thing. Now I get to uh, release a bunch of countries. Isn't that always very fun? So. The fate of Algeria. Liberate a loyal Algeria. Burkina Faso. Liberate a loyal Burkina Faso. Liberate Canada and Quebec. Because there were some tensions going on here, so we might as well, you know, split them up. Form, uh... Guinea. We will form Mali. We will form Mauritania. Uh, we'll form over in Niger. Puerto Rico. Give it to our American ally. Liberate the West Indies Federation. Apparently, we're just going to administer Corsica by ourselves. Sure, why not? I probably should have given it to the French, to be fair, but... It's too late now. Or I, say, I should say, probably the Commune. Friends of the Caribbean Federation, former loyal state of Sierra Leone. And then Senegambia. I think that's about it. Um, we will transfer... Corsica to you. Turn this off. And I think that's about it. Probably might, might want me to give um, Alaska to the Americans. I'm not too, too sure. But one thing, one final thing for this campaign can really be said to uh, have concluded is the invasion of course... Uh, Costa Rica. I don't care if the Germans get involved. We're not actually going to fight them at all, but... You guys deploy here. You guys deploy here. Delete all of your plans. You guys are now going to... Garrison North Africa. Turn off... Please turn off straight transfer tool. I don't... I don't need it on right now. Thank you. So let's see, who's in charge of any of these places anyways? Um, in Canada, we have brought back Edward V, but now he's just national populist. Apparently we're really good at just bringing back the people we conquered. You think we might not like them to be in charge, but what do I know? Apparently a foreign claim, apparently the United States doesn't actually have a claim on uh, Alaska, which is strange. And I think a bunch of these people are mostly just generic uh, portraits, unfortunately. Um, who else do we even have? I don't know who Victor Hamilton is. This guy is just taking up the entirety of the screen. Yeah, so, I mean... I think we're doing pretty, pretty well. Germany owns Lesotho. Who's, who's this? Dutch East Indies? Okay. I can't tell if that's on purpose or if that's uh, an accident by the fact that the, the, the mod updated halfway through the campaign. Are we there yet? No? Almost? Like, this is going to be like a 40 minute episode. Um. And hopefully we'll be done sooner rather than later. Lanny Craft, okay. A little bit late for that, but okay. How many minutes Costa Rica didn't have? They have four divisions. I cannot just fight a war goal. Also, I need 50 political power. PP50. Thank you. So in two weeks from now, war will begin. I mean, we're not really going to be getting too, like, actually involved in this. But... Like, how many shots of Middle Africa even have? 25 to 45 divisions? Germany has a decent amount. Russia still has not attacked yet, but they probably will soon. I 
mean, what if we kill Costa Rica before the Germans even get involved? Or does guaranteeing independence guarantee they always join? Like, 100% of the time, no matter what? I'm actually not too sure. And yeah, no, these guys are exactly the exact same color. Also, you guys just signed away peace with the Dutch East Indies, or do you guys just never declared war on each other? They might have just never declared war on each other. We have four more days until the invasion can begin. Please just make it to a port. Thank you very much. Also, this how do you have like no strength? Okay, so no, Germany does just immediately intervene, but that's okay. Costa Rica's joined the Reich's Pact. That is fine. We're not gonna worry about it because we're not actually really going to continue past this point. I believe. Might as well call in all of my allies as well. You know, while we're here. Call everybody into the war. Because why not? Costa Rica. You will soon be mine. And if I will, we'll see if Russia actually even ends up declaring war on Russia. Or if Ger Russia declares war on Germany. Costa Rica is about to capitulate. An unsurprising event, I would say so. However, with the fall of... I mean, you have a, you've had a cost of against the Germans this whole time. They might not actually do it. So Sanikov is just a coward, apparently. However, I feel like this is going to be a good time to end this video and, of course, end this series. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not do it, close thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.